In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare us to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Pardon the offenses of your peoples, we pray, O Lord, and in your goodness set us free from the bonds of the sins we have committed in our weakness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whispering of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who were my friends are on the watch for any misstep of mine. Perhaps he will, trap, he will be trapped, then we can prevail, and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me. Let the mighty champion, my persecutors, will stumble. They will not triumph. In their failure, they will put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, who, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart. Let the witness the vengeance let us witness let me witness the vengeance you take on me on them. For to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my, from my enemies. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The breakers of death surge round about me. The destroying floods overwhelm me. The cords of the netherworld embesh me. The snare of the death of death overtook me. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and I cried out to my God. From his temple he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus, the Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, We are not stoning you for your good work, but for your blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. Jesus answered them, 
Is it not written in your law, I said, you are, you are gods? If it, calls the, if it calls them gods, to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set, as, set aside, can you say to that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world, blasphemy because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my works, do not believe in me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe, believe the works, so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Then they tried to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan to the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true. And many there began to believe in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the first Gospel that we hear, they're trying to attack Jesus. For what he is saying for he says that he is the son of god that he has come into the world to give us a greater understanding of god's great love and his mercy jesus came into the world to show us the presence of god in our own daily life to help allow those who are turning away from god's covenant turning away from god's love now he's trying to bring them back into that understanding that the god they feared is the god that we love and today's gospel reminds us that they, we come closer and closer to the celebration of the, of the Trinity, Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Easter Sunday, the great gift in which is given to us to celebrate God's presence in our life through the person of Christ and allowing his love to become part of us, not to allow us to turn away from God, but to turn toward God each day, knowing that his presence, his presence, strength gives us the courage to persevere may we pray that we turn to god each day asking him to protect us asking him to watch over us each day knowing that he is there that he sent his son out of love and his love continues to become part of our daily life today god bless you bless you lord god of all creation for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you Fit of the earth and work of human hands, become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed be the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fit of the vine and work of human hands, Become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may it be accepted by you, Lord, and may our sacrifice be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me of my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord set the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altar and there to be saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord.
God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Nelson our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious to grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the same Lord Jesus Christ, not only judge, but bring condemnation, but through your love and mercy, be for me perfection in my own body. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. 
but only save the world and, and the soul should be healed. Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord, and may it always drive far from us all the world would do us harm. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. The Mass is ended. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the weakness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Thank you very much again to celebrate the gift of the Eucharist today. Continue to have a blessed day and continue to watch and pray for one another.